Maddie Glab here sitting down with our punter Sam Martin as we count down to training camp. So Sam, you signed a three-year contract extension with the Bills to stay in Buffalo for hopefully more than a few more seasons. Why did you want to stay here? Oh man, there's a, a long list of reasons, but uh, the, the few that stick out to me the most is um, really Coach Smiley and Reed and Tyler. Um, there's a lot to be said about a special teams room and, and Coach Harkey too. Um, there's a lot to be said about special teams room and you know, I've been a, in a lot of them in my career and I just think we had a really good thing going here and, and um, you know, it's nice to come back and have that comfort in that same trio. And on top of that, um, I really fell in love with Buffalo last year. I love the city, I love the fans, the facility, the culture in the building. You know, I can't say enough nice things about it. So it was, it was really important to me to try to get back here. Is Reed the dad of the room, would you say? Who's who's the jokester? Or does Reed fit into both of those Reed categories? Reed is by definition the dad of the room. He's the only one with kids. Um, he's yeah, and he's bald. <laughs> he's got the beard. Um, no, he's definitely, you know, he's the, he's the you know, probably the glue to it all. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Tyler, I'm the old man, even though Reed might act like it. Uh, and then, you know, Tyler's, Tyler's the, our little son. <laughs> Your little son. <laughs> Who no, cracks the best jokes? Uh, best jokes. Who lightens up the room? Or is that Smiley? Smiley, yeah, no question, Smiley. Reed thinks he has jokes, but they're dad jokes. Um, but Smiley's always got one-liners, and as you know, he's just, he's got, a, he's got, a, He's always got something in his pocket. Of course, of course. You started the um, Sam Martin Foundation in 2016. Why did you want to start something like that and how does it help other people? Um, so yeah, I started in 16, one of my later years in Detroit, and we actually did a lot of stuff there. It was uh, The main premise of it was um, kids with physical and intellectual uh, disabilities. And then we also did a lot with Humane Society and animals and pets. When I left and went to Denver, uh, I never really got it going again. Um, and I've kind of been waiting to settle down in another new team. And yeah, now that I, now that I re-signed here, um, I do have plans to get it back going and starting to get more involved in the community here and, and really get that launched again. So it's, it's been stagnant for a few years, but I'm excited to get it going. Okay, so look out for that in the next couple seasons here. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, Wanna talk about your style. You rock some game day fits. Um, I don't know if people would put you like, you know, there's there's the Von Millers of the world and there's the Tim Settles of the world and the Stefan Diggs, we have to mention him, who, who just wear out their outfits and it works for them and their personality. But you, you had some good outfits on Sundays and road games, home games, whatever it may be. I would describe it as like effortless. Oh, I like that, I like that. So how would you describe your style and do you have any favorite, um. favorite game day fits from last season? I will say, uh, yeah, I think my style, I definitely am into fashion, not in the sense that I'd say Diggs and Vaughn are, um, <laughs> you know, and I was always looking at those guys. You know, lots of times I wish I could wear some of the stuff they could do, but I just, I just can't. Um, so yeah, I think it's a little, I mix my mixed style, sometimes a little more streetwear, some casual, you know, it's a little combination. I think it's kind of a unique look I have. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I can't get too extreme like those guys. You gotta have a certain type of uh, swagger to pull off their outfits. Uh, as far as favorite outfit of the year, I, I don't know. I kind of really throw them together last second. And okay. yeah, and it's kind of like whatever's in the closet and a mixed bag, I know this works. I do get a little crazier on game day than I'd say my everyday style. Okay. You're, you're allowed to get a little risque mm -hmm. on game day, but uh, yeah, I typically don't dress like that regularly, but it's fun, it just adds a little one more element so to, you to build, game So you build up the closet so it's ready to go for the season. Yeah, I probably have too many jackets, and so it's it's just a, Never. a pick and pull, and oh, this works, all right, I'm gonna go with this. Do you have any brands that you really love to wear that you find yourself wearing more on game days? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say I like Rude, Amiri, I wear a lot of Theory, Vince. Um, not a big designer guy other than that, I'd say. Um, it's really just, I, sometimes I forget I buy stuff and then it's, oh, I'm aware of that. I have yeah. this in my yeah, closet. This looks good. That's the best. That's <laughs> so, the best. Yeah, I don't, there's no really rhyme or reason. I kind of just throw it together and if I feel good in it, it, it plays. Okay. Are you doing anything in June or July? You guys get like six weeks off where nothing is going on in Buffalo, which is wonderful for everybody because you can really take a break before training camp starts. So, you going anywhere? You doing anything? You, um, are you going to be in Buffalo? I'd say there's a chance I do stay up here longer. I've heard the Buffalo summers are incredible. Elite. Yeah, and you don't uh, miss I've known out on nothing it. but bad weather here so far. So um, there's a chance I stay up here, but no, I live in Florida in the off season. I go to the Bahamas a lot. Um, it's 
pretty easy trip from, from uh, where I live in Florida. So I anticipate at some point shooting over the Bahamas, but I don't know, we'll see. I, there's a chance I stay up here all off season and just golf and hang out with the, whoever's up here. Bill's Mafia loves to hear that. Sam, <laughs> thanks for hanging out, answering a few questions. Thank you, appreciate you having me.